Oh, this is happening. Hello everyone, Thranks is here and welcome back to No Man's Sky, episode 51, where we're still waiting for this copyright plant to grow, and I thought it was going to grow a little faster than this, but that's fine. It is time for us to be on our way. If the copyright plant won't grow, we're going to do some traveling, because I have got the wanderlust. I've got the need to venture off and explore. So that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and get back to our capital ship. Where we will then warp elsewhere. Now at this point, our ship is fairly well established as far as... Well, let's see. Let's take a look at the technology. We do have a small increase in shields some rockets we don't really have I mean we do okay yeah actually we could use a better ship but this is just a b-class um, shuttle so not exactly designed for combat we are gonna need more pyrite Look at that, we're getting close. Let's break around the space station. There we go. Hard turn. Whoa, look out. There we go. That's some wild docking for a shuttle. I love it. Okay, and we did we did get another ship. I do remember. It's been a while since we've looked at it. Didn't we? Thought we did. Maybe we just sold it. Well, in any event, any extra ships are going to be resent to us when we warp. But I would also like to start building more up here. I want this to start being more of an actual base. So, what we're going to do is actually expand this. See, we're going to need more silver. Uh, but let's see if in the meantime... we can get a refiner in here, that would be really great. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so now we have a refiner on our capital ship. Very, very good. We don't really have any rust or anything that I want to process. Herox. What does that become? That becomes silver. Let's do that. There we go. So now we can go back to the construction where I really just want to make more room here. And then probably more room there as well. And now we're out of silver again. I don't suppose we can delete that. Okay. What did that give us? Perhaps a little tiny bit of silver. No, this is good. We're going to start opening this area up and expanding it and getting some stuff in here. Uh, we don't have anybody on expedition. Oh, no, we do. They're back. Let's debrief them. Let's see how they did. And the freighter's inventory is full. I knew that. Ugh, look at all this stuff. Let's make sure we grab all this stuff we want to sell. 
I think we'll take those. We'll leave the walker brain for now. We have the 2200 chromatic metal. We'll take that. We've got the fuel. Okay, now we have plenty of room. Put that on the exosuit. Look at that. Lots and lots of room. And then I think we'll keep the silver on the freighter. Perfect. Okay, now let us debrief our crew. See how they did. Arrived in the Ulas Giru system. Abnormalities detected in scan data. Solar wind extremely high. Stripping atmosphere from all nearby planets. Got eight gravitino balls. Next log entry, learn of investment opportunity while refueling in this Tensai system. Local power plant had developed novel technique for creating and harnessing miniature black holes. Purchase large share of the business, 300,000 profits. I like that. Next log arrived in the Resun Ayeski system, docked at space station, made contact with local mercenaries guild, sold expeditions, collected conflict data, including last known locations of several wanted pirates, boom profits, over a third of a million. Surveyed fauna in the Lazofix sector, discovered 62 new species, DNA samples archived, got Viking effigies. Ah, too bad they're not daggers. Returned home, assumed formation with the fleet. I think at this point we can say that I will take these Gravitino balls off your hands. What is the Lemium process into? Because I'm realizing that these these advanced ores can be broken down. Gold, you say? I'm not sure if that's what I want to do with that. So we're going to need to take all the Gravitino balls out if we want to sell them, or else we'll just leave them there. It's fine, we'll just leave them there for now. Let's make sure there's not a quest open for a walker brain. Kill one sentinel walker. Great, a harvester, a depot. We could do these things, but it's not what we're going to do now. We're going to warp. And warp we shall. So the nearest Atlas station is right up here. It's just a lonely star with one planet. Well, I feel like we should. Why not? Let's do it. We have arrived. Corvax, one planet, trivial conflict level. How do we look out of the bridge here? Space station, whoa. That's it. That's the Atlas interface. Okay. All right. Let's do it. I don't have any room in my inventory. We're going to have to hit the space station first. That's just as well. That way we can make sure we don't forget to do that. Hey, there's our ship. We do have a we do have a second ship. I knew we did. It is not damaged. It is a B-class explorer. And I think I just got this just so I could trade it in for something else one day. I don't remember. No, I think I think we're going to try to have at least one of every type of ship. But a lot of the S-class ships that I've seen um, have had exotic classes. So I don't know how that's going to play into to having one of every class. Whoa, look at that fleet. We've got three million units. We'll likely have more here shortly. And even more ships are jumping in. Well, we'll go check out what freighters are for sale. Once we sell all of our trade goods, we'll buy another slot of storage. Check out the Atlas interface. So much to do. I just love this game. All right. 
jetpack up here because stairs are for people without an S-Class jetpack mod. I'm not even going to talk to our friend there. We're just going to go straight for the storage. 110 technology. We know we have an empty technology. Let's go for the general general storage there. And what kind of upgrade modules do you sell? S-Class radiation. No thanks. I think as far as our exosuit goes, got an S-Class shield, so we just need an S-Class toxic protector, and then maybe one more, maybe an S-Class life support would be, would be kind of neat. Starship modifications. I should start checking the weapons for sale. See, look how many slots they have. Ugh. Hopefully, we'll get ourselves another S-Class Scanner Module. Blaze Javelin, Pulse Spitter, Geology Cannon. Oh, we could get another S-Class Pulse Spitter. I think we're already doing good. We'll just keep our eye out for, for scanners. Okay, so nothing really of value in the upgrades department. Probably just as well. We don't have a lot of nanites. I mean, we have some, but... Ooh! A traveler. The forever ship is mine. I have a number of slots to fill if you have the goods. Uh, where did you come from? Yes, anomalous subspace signal detected. That should be the... Hold on. Unknown grave. Okay, good. Let's let's sell our stuff. Let's clear our inventory out. Yeah, we're gonna sell. Ooh, these are of value here. Look at that. It just so happened to work out. Fusion core. Yep, all this stuff. Don't really care. Okay. Now we have... I was going to say lots, but... We have some. We still have these excess ion batteries we don't really need. We do have some drop pod coordinate data we can use to expand our high capacity cargo a little bit. Alright, let's see what quests we can knock out while we're here. What do you have? Kill eight sentinels. I'll take that. Raid a planetary harvester. Uh, an acquired taste. Kill four sentinels. That's easy enough. Take a photo on an airless world. Sure, we can we can hold on to that one. All right, now let's hand in some missions. Let's see, I've got kill four sentinels. Thank you for the units. I appreciate it. Okay. I suppose we should spend a little bit of time learning Corvaxian. Oh, we need to get a Corvax Convergence Cube, but they sent us, they want us to go to a location for that. Um, yeah, it's, it's tough. Cor oh, look at how many words of this one we know. See, it's getting, the more words we learn, Corvax Convergence something, Fascinating Traveler, Corvax Research Topic. My presence has made the life form somewhat curious. How about dialect help? Chemist Entity Ryakichits. Technician entity Tigogovistin. Tigogovistin. Yeah. Ahem. Fascinating intelligence traveler. I would like more dialect help, actually. The Corvex word for valuable. I didn't understand much of that. I think we're just going to keep learning new words. How about you? 
dialect help, please. Thank you. Okay. It's probably good enough. Let's go check out this planet. Or no. Better said, let's check out this Atlas interface. I almost forgot the whole reason why we picked this system. Uh, what kind of planet is it, first off? Incandescent planet. Let's see. Discovered by Choco Rings. Oh, it's not even been... I'm not even the first one to discover it. Oh my. Let's see if any of these frigates are worth recruiting, shall we? Oh, they're like all science frigates. And they're hanging out in an asteroid field. Yeah, you know what? I don't have time for that. I want to see what this is all about. Oh, yes I do. All right. Oh, this is happening. Ooh, nice and slow. Oh, wow. Excellent. I'm I'm all about it. No, turn me around. No, we're not leaving yet. What have we here? Whoa. Corvax word for ship? You're teaching me language? What are these? Oh, warp cells. Nexus Ninald. Alright, I guess we're doing it. Cole Mulu. I don't understand any of that. I don't understand any of that. The Atlas called me to this interface, and yet its purpose remains unclear. It demands worship. It demands obedience. It welcomes me. It knows what I am. It offers the gift of true understanding. But why? Why does such power and knowledge crave submission? It knows my thoughts before I know them myself. It knows what I will do. The Atlas asks me to follow its path. Okay. I accept. Milestone Pathfinder above, yeah. I will accept this. The sky is deep and full of wonders, and the path to enlightenment opens to me. Ooh, captured nanode. Unique, valuable curiosity. Atlas seed containing zonally shifted quasi-stellar substrate. Oh my. Warning, do not allow Matrix to commune with this dimensional space. Okay. Sure, I, I suppose. Um, sure, sure, yes. I accept. So now, what? The Atlas Quest says... Find the next Atlas interface. Recover the Atlas seeds. Hmm. Fair enough. Let's go find ourselves an unknown grave. So we can get ourselves another glyph. That's all there is to the whole Atlas interface. Okay. Let's check out. Let's check this out. An incandescent planet. Likely going to be very hot, I would imagine. It looks, it looks a little igneous on the surface. Whoa, like crazy cave canyons. That's cool. Oh, look at the plants.
Interesting. It's got these direct sunlight. It's not necessarily bad. Oh, we got creatures. Lots of them. Hasty eats flowers. Tends plants. No! No! Oh, this creature does not look nice. Reckless. Venom urchins? Um... Ugh, I didn't... Just go away, okay? Nobody was trying to make it about that. And then I lost the visual on the critter. There it is. Alright, well, if this is the way it's going to be, then we're going to depart. Drowned in the sea of... Oh, signal led us there in search of... Pursued by Abyss, but we couldn't. I wasn't done. So much more to see. Traveler's grave is marked by the glyph. I would like to extract it. I, I obtained the glyph, and with it, the ability to travel to unknown worlds. Yep. And the Sentinels are going to continue giving me a hard time, but that's okay. Whoa. All kinds of creatures on this world. Whoa. Did the Sentinels really come up here and find me? Oh. I was doing something. Okay, fine. Then we're departing. You see if you can find me now. now. Let's uh, scan for a trade outpost. Two minutes travel time? Yeah, we're going to punch out of the atmosphere for that one. right. Notorious. Better rotate down. Getting a little fast. Says 13 seconds, but it's not going down. There it is. 10. Oh, we're getting a little heat. Oh, look out! We're coming in hot to the hot planet. There we go. Now, let's see, because I'm pretty sure... that these places sell things that are different than the space station. I would like more dialect help, please. There's always room for more dialect help. Perhaps not, though. Let's see. No, it appears to be same stuff. I think we are going to buy a lot of pyrite. Because why not? Um, I think this is the thing that made a lot of silver. Buy a couple of those. Alright. 
That should be good. Oh, leave. If I don't understand enough of your language to interact with you properly... So look at all that. All I understood was please. As with many of their kind, this Corvax projects lights from around their visor. But as I look more closely, I see these are not just random patterns. They've created a tiny, perfect hologram of their local star system. The Corvax nods before altering the projection slightly, highlighting the planet closest to this space station. Perhaps I should investigate. Um, this is the planet closest to the space station. So what does that even mean? Hmm. Let's see what these travelers have to sell. So look at that. I could buy a Corvax Convergence Cube right now and then not even have to do the mission. Um, I might as well. I was actually kind of hoping to find some Viking daggers that way, but it looks like all these guys are going to sell is Corvax stuff, right? So I need to go to a Viking system if I want to get Viking daggers. That's acceptable. We have the Viking effigies. Let's put this pie right on the starship. As well as we'll put these warp cells on the freighter. We have our Corvax Convergence Cube now. Put that Lemium on the freighter. Alright, this will work. I wanted to make sure that I was able to buy these or build the summoning station. That's what the batteries were for. Four batteries. Thought I needed more batteries for something else. I think all of these ships are going to end up being Corvax. It is a Corvax system. Indeed. It's all the same stuff. Okay. Then I say it's time we leave. I don't see a reason to really stay here. We'll go ahead and check this out, as we can get ferrite from that. Microprocessor. We don't really need that. Alright, well we got our Corvax Convergence Cube, skipping whatever challenge it was going to have us do. And we got our first Atlas interface. Alright, so now, we'll just go back to our capital ship, and we'll warp to the next system. Mm, offset, offset. Ooh. Initiate docking procedure, please. Good night. And we're docked. Okay. Absolutely wonderful. I think I am going to go ahead and break down that ore into more silver so we can expand more of this section over here. So let's see, it's from the starship, right? Is where I put it. Oh, no, that's the one that does gold. Oh, well, then we'll put it on the freighter. I mean, that's okay. You don't know when you're going to need that. We might need that. All right. Let's pick another system to warp to. Anomaly detected. Atlas station. 
So it's one, two, three jumps over there. Or the black hole, which is over there. Oh, that could be cool too. Visit the mission board. Home base. Destination. How do I how do I get that listed as my destination? That doesn't make any sense. Out of jump range. That looks like a good one too. Oh look at this one. Looks like a giant blue star two planets one of them has water that could be neat promising economy let's do it all right we made it let's see what it looks like off the bridge I don't see any planets or space stations. Oh, nope, a couple of asteroids. That's about it. Raise your standing with the Corvax. Increase standing by two out of four. That's... Oh, that's the quest they were telling me to go back to that one place for. Well, we'll increase our standing with the Corvax. That's... Board the space anomaly. I don't have an Atlas quest anymore? It has been a while since I've boarded this, the uh, space-time anomaly. But let's just go ahead and get the lay of the lay of the system here. Alright, there's our space station, there's our anomaly, we've got planet one. A charred planet. Activated indium. Phosphorus and salt. Activated indium. That sounds like that could be fun. What else do we got? We've got... Ooh, here's the planet with water. A miasmatic planet. Fungal mold. Also activated indium. And ammonia. Both could be kind of fun, kind of interesting. Let's take a look at what we have. Hmm. Well, I guess first things first, we should go to the space station. Check out the local mission boards see what kind of upgrade modules are for sale. I would really love to get another S-Class scanner. I really, really would. So we'll check those first. Buy ourselves a new bit of inventory. Oh, no, you can make it. We should keep checking the multi-tools. Whispers of Supplication, C-Class. Get that out of here. Alright, upgrade modules. What do you have? Pulse Spitter. Mining Beam Module S. I actually wouldn't mind that one. Yeah, let's do that. Probably not something I should have done, but... Because I want it to be... That's my laser beam capacitor. Right. So we'll just get rid of that one. And we'll replace it with this one. Fuel efficiency, heat dispersion, mining speed, and reload time. 
Ooh wee. Mmm. It's good stuff. All right, we'll take another personal inventory slot. Thank you. So, kind of upgrade modules you have for my suit. Toxic protection, of course. I can't afford it because I just bought the other. And the toxic was the last one I needed. Mm-hmm. Well, what we can do is we can go to the charred planet. We can go to the charred planet. We can attempt to earn some nanites, completing some of these quests here, and then stop at the space station before we go to the toxic planet. We should be able to buy ourselves the shield before then. I'm going to go with yes. Uh, let's see what kind of missions are available here. Kill 28 creatures for some nanites. I approve. Kill four sentinels. Quantum accelerator. I also approve. And kill more creatures. Creatures and sentinels and sentinels and creatures. Hostage retrieval. Um, no. Not a fan of that. Ooh, another traveler. It is strange, isn't it? How we can trade goods but not even touch? Perhaps the breach only allows non-biological matter to pass through. Perhaps not. Where have you come from? Boom. Tell me... Unknown grave. Okay, that's good. Um, alright, well, yeah, I don't know enough of their language to know what they're saying, and I've learned so much already. Ahem, Corvax Entity Help? Whoa, a whole sentence. The lights in the life form's casing are wide and dim, but as they turn to talk, their mask becomes momentarily blank. They swiftly come back online, but I can't help but feel that their piercing gaze is that of a different entity altogether. Nonetheless, they seem keen to communicate. Corvax word for filter. And that one I understood nothing. Just want to learn more and more of your language, if at all possible, please. Then we're going to need a Viking system to get the daggers, so we'll have to jump again. I'm going to attempt to scan. I don't like that. Okay, well, that's where we're going to wrap up. Okay. See, this is where I should have been paying attention because as I'm learning <laughs> more of their language, I'm getting more options. There are three clear images that I can choose from on behalf of the entity. Dangerous-looking predators, a geologist mining survey, and an orbiting asteroid cluster. The asteroid cluster. The life form receives a ship technology blueprint. They present it to me with thanks. Photon cannon module C. Junk. Junk a junk. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me here. At no Man's Sky episode 51. Look at this ship. C-Class. Looks cool. I hope you've had a good time watching because as always, I've had a good time playing. Be sure to come back next time as we're going to continue to explore this system, kill some creatures, get some nanites, get ourselves our toxic shield. Maybe we'll check out what this activated Indium was all about. But until next time, take care.